Hello everyone, today I will tell you about the new generation Japanese tank Mitsubishi Type 10, which has been mentioned a lot lately. Because the Type 10 is one of the most interesting tanks developed in the field of technology recently. As you know, Japan is a defense army. They established their self-defense forces after World War II, and according to their constitution, the Japanese army cannot operate anywhere outside of mainland Japan. Although this law has been violated a little in recent years, the only duty of the Japanese army in general is to protect the mainland of Japan and the islands. That's why the entire military structure has been specially designed for this, including ground troops and armored troops. At the end of the 90s, there were two types of battle tanks in the inventory of the Japanese army. One of them was the Type 90 tank. The Type 90 was very similar to the Western Bloc tanks, especially the Leopard 2. With a combat weight of approximately 55 tons, this tank had high firepower and armor protection. But the Type 90 was not an ideal tank for the defense of Japan. Japan is an island country. It consists of thousands of large and small islands. Also, its geography is rugged. It was not easy to use a tank like the Type 90 in such a geography. Japan has been using light tanks for rough terrain for many years. The 38-ton Type 74 tanks were perfect for these terrains. The Japanese government decided to upgrade the Japanese ground forces, consisting of the Type 74, Type 90, and some anti-tank guns, in 2000. First of all, they decided to use one type of tank instead of using two types of tanks. This tank was supposed to be light and fast like the Type 74, while also having the firepower and armor protection of the Type 90. That's why the Japanese switched to the concept of two armored units. Instead of using two different tanks, they were using one tank. Next to the tank, there was a different vehicle supporting the tank. The name of this vehicle was Type 16. The Japanese government initiated a project called TKX for the Type 10 tank, and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries won the tender. The new tank had to be able to move freely over Japan's rough terrain, use bridges, and be comfortably transported between islands. In 2006, the first prototype appeared. Mitsubishi Company reduced the weight of a heavily armored and high firepower tank like the Type 90 to almost 40 tons. The first tests were carried out in 2008, and in 2010 mass production of the tank began. Type 10 entered service in 2012. In the future, Type 74 and Type 90 will be replaced by Type 10 tanks. In the near future, all Japanese ground troops will consist of Type 10 and Type 16. As you know, Japanese metallurgy and material technology are advanced. They made great use of this technology while developing the armor of this tank. The Type 10's armor protection is quite interesting. By NATO standards, this tank is a light tank, but it won't be overshadowed by a tank like the Leopard 2 or Abrams. Although Japan is not a NATO member, this tank meets all NATO standards both technically and digitally. That's why the Type 10 has very strange and very interesting features that many Western and Eastern tanks do not have. If we talk about the features of Type 10, three personnel work in this tank. The 44 caliber and 120 mm cannon can use all NATO standard ammunition. The ammunition of this autoloader tank was developed for Chinese tanks. The Type 10 weighs 40 tons, but with the addition of extra armor, this weight can go up to 44 or 48 tons. This tank, which is extremely light, has a very powerful engine. The Type 10 tank has a 1,200 horsepower V8 diesel engine. 1,200 horsepower may not seem like much, but for a 40-ton tank this engine is more than enough. The power-to-weight ratio of this engine is 27 horsepower per ton. Type 10 can reach a speed of 70 kilometers per hour thanks to this engine. And it has a very interesting transmission feature. It can reach speeds of 70 km per hour by going both forward and backward. The tank is equipped with hydropneumatic active suspension and offers superior mobility. There is a very logical reason for this suspension system. This feature is indispensable for Japan, which has very difficult and rough terrain. 
The tank has a hydraulic system with variable geometry, so the gun can be easily turned towards the enemy target. The Type 10 weighs only 40 tons and is a very light tank. You would naturally think that its armor is weak, but on the contrary, this tank's armor is extremely strong. According to unofficial claims, this tank is said to have better frontal armor protection than the Leopard 2 tank. So how is it possible to use such strong armor on such a light tank? Here, the legendary metallurgical and material knowledge of the Japanese comes into play. The Japanese used nanotechnology when designing this armor. They used nanocrystal armor steel in this armor and what exactly it is is unknown. Apart from this, the Japanese are a country with advanced technology in composite ceramics and they used this technology in the tank. Equipped with these technologies, the tank is allegedly so robust that it can win in one-on-one -on -one combat with the Leopard 2. This is a very serious claim because there is an average weight difference of 20 tons between Type 10 and Leopard 2. Just as a lightweight boxer can beat a heavyweight boxer. The tank also features advanced sensor systems and advanced C4I, command, control, communications, computers, and intelligence equipment that allows the tank to communicate and share information with other tanks in the GSDF network. We can almost even call this tank a robot with artificial intelligence. We may never know how true these claims are, unless China or North Korea attacks mainland Japan. The Japanese do not export weapons and do not share military technology with other countries. Therefore, it is not possible to know how effective and how good these systems they have developed are. Thanks for watching. If you found the video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a nice day.